we find ourselves in day five in the fifth title of Our Lady in the Litany of Loretta, and that is Mother of the Church. It is a title that finds its origin in Lumen Gentium, which is the dogmatic constitution from the Second Vatican Council, and it reminds us that Our Lady's vocation and her life is as a member of the Church. She's not outside of the Church or above the Church, but a member, because all of us are formed as Church through baptism and through our discipleship of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so therefore, in this title of Mother of the Church, we find something for ourselves. We find that we have a mother, we have a model, a model of discipleship, and how we are to relate to her son, our Saviour. We recall that Our Lady conceives Christ in her heart before she conceives him in her womb because she gives her yes, her fiat. It is that relationship of faith that is the great example to us as a Catholic people that like Our Lady we are called to open our hearts to Christ and then in that extraordinary revolution that takes place through grace then to share Christ with others. Devotion to Our Lady is always devotion to Christ because, as we know from the earlier title, Theotokos, that Mary is Mother of God. She is Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church. And it is in these wonderful titles and the ones which will follow that we will understand this great woman of faith. It is in her contemplation of her son that gives her that extraordinary insight and that wonderful example to us. And so let us ask her intercession as mother of the church for us at this difficult time. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death.